Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Uneven Asphalt's uh, Lewis Hamilton Reference Laps. Now, I struggled with Mount Panorama and the only reason why I really struggled with it was solely because I don't really race on here that much. I just, i done a couple AI races and that's honestly about it. I haven't done any like league races with GBRC or Snail on here yet. I... Haven't done any GT Sport races or any nations. I I just haven't raced on here. Um, so what I kind of had to do actually was I went back to one of the endurance races, grabbed a Mercedes, put it on racing hards, and even though it doesn't feel the same, it feels a little bit better because it's not an understeering barge board. Um, just to kind of get a feel for a track, and then you know I watched a bunch of other reference laps just to get. A feel of what I needed to do. Um, yeah, this one was very tricky. It had a lot of places where you really needed to commit, and I was screaming internally, let off, get on the brakes, you idiot, but I just couldn't. So, as always, I will play the lap in full, and then we will break down the mountain. Where did that come from? Mega lap. Now, if you notice in this video, I did have to use cones. That's how bad I struggled. And I actually struggled so bad, I actually had to do this basically three days in a row. After work, just after dinner, just sit and just do this for like two, three hours at a time. Sadly, it took me about six hours total to do all this, but... Hey, we eventually got there. Um, note, as well, the cones, they don't do much on the actual uphill and really downhill part because there's really no place to put them. So they're really only good for like the first few corners and not even the last one. So anyways, let's break down the lap. So starting off, we are going to be breaking just after the 100 meter board. Kind of, again, bad using shadows. I don't recommend it in actual real life, but for this instance, we're going to use it basically just when we touch the front of the shadow, we want to use as a braking reference point. Now, I really had to drag on the brakes as you want to basically use as much road as possible. You want to be here right on the white line, but not on the curb itself. 
Um, I found the curves at Mount Panorama basically too harsh and they upset the car a lot that was spitted out. So I tried to not use curbs if I could, which sadly is a blow to my ego because I love using curbs. I just think it's fun. Um, anyway, so basically to, you want your wheels basically between the edge of the curb and basically this white line over here. Right at that cone, start picking up the gas. Now this is tricky because... It literally could go one of many ways. You clip the grass and you hit this understeer tent. Which, trust me, I wish I could hit it with this freaking car. How bad an understeer is. Um, you could go out wide and lose time. Or, like here, we nail it. But that part's very, very tricky to do. Lewis doesn't get a particularly good exit, so we're actually gaining a lot of time on here. Now... Right just after the 100, you want to start braking. You, this corner is tricky. Because I feel like it's on camber, but it doesn't feel like it is. There's really no grip. Kind of why I had to put the cones was to kind of gauge a turning reference. I guess. Right where this axis road ends, and basically where it goes from white to this King Gi banner, you kind of want to use that as a breaking or as a turn reference. Which it looks like it's very early, but trust me. And then let the car coast, and basically, kind of when you see the exit of the curb over here, that's when you want to gas. I actually kept hitting this wall over here, it was not a good time. Then this part, basically you want to lift off, but not totally, you want to keep it half. Now, if you either carry too much speed or you brake too much, you're going to either spin or wind up in the marbles and spin. As you can see, I'm actually over correcting for oversteer. You want to stay tight towards this wall and gently feed in the throttle, climbing up the hill. Now, Lewis lifts here. If you nail this right, you don't have to lift up until this point over here. Basically, as soon as you start turning in, and yeah, basically, as you start turning in, I would lift, let the car coast, and you slowly feed in. I wouldn't go full throttle till right about here. Basically, when you start seeing the Fujitsu signs, Give it a full beans, it'll track out wide, if you nail it right you won't hit the barriers on both sides. Now this part is very very tricky, you kind of want to aim for this while turning a little bit. And basically when the car basically levels out, you want to lift off the gas and just let the natural rotation of the car, if it had any, carry you through. Now, basically once you get to the exit to the end of the curb, start giving it full gas, to track you out wide. Now over here, kind of use this flag marshal post as another lift point. There's a lot of lifting, if you haven't noticed. Lift, turn it in, give you the beans. Now this part is hairy. I. I still don't know how some people like take this as fast as they did. I actually chickened out for whatever reason on this lap. I have taken it faster on other runs, but obviously they haven't been successful since I haven't gotten diamond. Um, basically, as soon as you come under this um, banner, or right before it, you want to start gently breaking. And you basically want to aim over here. And basically, once you hit the curb, start braking again. You want to be in control of your car. It will be out of shape. That's kind of why I actually have the brake marker set more towards the front. Because I found with the rear, it got really loose around here. And I couldn't keep control of it. So basically, I added in more front bias to kind of help stabilize the car. Keep it tight over here. And basically, as soon as you could see the next corner, just aim for it. 
you want to clip as much of it as possible and it's basically just pray and hope that you executed this corner right to get back on the gas now this part is very tricky you want to start setting up for that straight away here so I lifted a little bit and basically I'm um, some throttle management not a lot maybe like 30% and as soon as I see blue I start braking and I start aiming for the inside of the corner to hug like so and then slowly get back on the gas and track out wide as you can see we're gaining a bunch of time on Lewis we want to turn in and basically I kept braking after the 150 and I just kept sailing into the gravel you want to brake just before it see just before it I kept going to second too I found that I was losing a lot of time going to third you want to cut as much as this curb as you can while still maintaining control as you see here I actually almost threw it away as you're about to see you want to I seen people take this flat out if they execute it right I for whatever reason just didn't I had to let off not once but twice oh no just once as you can see I lost a lot of time to Lewis and basically we're neck and neck heading to the last one this part's a little bit tricky there are I mean if you use cones there are cones behind the 100 but you want to break kind of towards the end of this curve over here actually right in the beginning so it's kind of as soon as you start to cross the plane of this uh, pit curb split start breaking Lewis loses a lot of time here for whatever reason on entry I kind of botched the exit but I carried enough minimum speed into the apex that it was enough for me to sail past Lewis and that is a lap of Bathurst and Mount Panorama so I will see you guys at the next one. We got eight down and two to go.